Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there. Today I would like to share with you a new purse I have created. This is a purse slash clutch. No. Let me talk about it a little bit. This one, um, I just took a, a little bit piece of fabric and I put it inside lining and it has a pocket and, and I put a button over here, snap button and I showed in my video how to do these handles. These are very easy handles and these are done from, you could do it either from yoga container, uh, the top lid, cut it up the center and then use the sides or oatmeal container or any other containers you have which has a plastic lid. And then we wrap around some fabric and some trim. And here I have added a rhinestone just to show which one is front and the back so this is the back one and the front with the rhinestone as you see this turned out to be a really cute little purse so i wanted to share with you so let me show you now the whole process how this is done so i will show you how to make the handle of this purse the way we make the handle we use it yogurt container or a oatmeal container lid and you take a sharp scissor and just cut out the sides make it like a ring Now you can leave it at that or you can make it a little bit more cut. So there you have your ring. Now with this ring, what I will do is I cut a long piece of fabric. This is two inch wide, about 38 inches long, and the side I burnt in the candle. Now this side burning was not very easy. If you don't want to do that then you can just buy a ribbon two inch wide ribbon now this you tie it first like this we're going to stitch it Just going to give a initial stitch so it doesn't come out. So after you stitch it a little bit, just a little, then you continue rolling it. You can take out the thread because you need to add the thread all the way at the end again.
Now we're going to roll this. Make sure it's tight. You want to roll it to loose. So tightly roll. Now you can color these edges with the guitar dimensional fabric paint. These edges became black because of burning them. You can color them so they will be shiny. going to roll this thing the entire circle should you roll it tight So as you roll it, you make sure you go wide, wide way. So you don't roll, keep rolling at one place. You have to keep moving all around. So you'll roll it to the edge. So after I wrap around the fabric, then I wrap around this trim. Since this one wrapped around this much, so I will just wrap around this much with the trim. So now at the end of the trim, we'll just stitch it here. So give few stitches here to hold the trim tight. So we have two handles ready. And this made out of yogurt container lid, as you saw, and some fabric and some trim. Now we move into the parts, the materials. Now you're going to be needing two fabrics, one for the lining, one for our side. There is no measurement for it, you just get the whatever length or width measurement you want, it's your part, so but uh, i will just tell you the measurement of this one what i have here this is about 20 inches long and about 14 inches wide and similar length and wide you need the lining now i'm going to make a little pocket so for the pocket the fabric is about uh, six six inches because i uh, folded it a bit in the side so about seven inches long and five inches wide
Now, let me show you how to do the pocket. So first you have your fabric. Now the inside fabric, we're going to do the pocket. So like this, you will stitch it. A stitch only three sides. Let me stitch it and then show it to you. So I have finished stitching the pocket as you see. I stitched three sides and left this one open and then I pin these two fabric together, the lining and the top fabric. And once you pin it, then you run your machine or hand stitch all the four sides. All the four sides running stitch. After do all the four sides, doesn't matter which way, the front or back, but just stitch all the four sides. Then you keep the pretty side inside and turn it like this. And when you turn it like this, make sure your pockets comes outside here. Now you will be stitching these two sides once you stitch finish stitching these two sides then you will flip it after you finish stitching the sides then you will flip it to the pretty side and then you will be making three pleats here three pleats like this one in between you give about two inches gap two and three so you have your three pleats after you stitch these three pleats, then you take the fabric like this and go over the handle like this. And remember that by this time you will already have your side stitch, already side stitch. So once you go with the fabric like this, then you will be stitching over here. So your fabric will be like this in the handle and the same goes for the other side with the other handle. Like this. So once I do all that then I'll see you and I'm going to put after I'm done with all this I'm going to put a rhinestone here. So after I finish this, then I will see you. So remember what we...